in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And a warm welcome to all those joining us online from wherever, wherever it is you are joining us from. We Catholics are always preparing for Sunday because it's the day of resurrection. It's the day the community gathers to listen to the word of the God who speaks, to receive and celebrate the Eucharist together and be sent out to tell others the good news. And then we're preparing for Sunday. It's always preparation for Sunday. Our way of looking at these 40 days is to recognize it as a, a lengthened time of preparation because we are preparing for the day of resurrection. We're preparing for Easter Sunday. So whatever practices you've taken up, whichever way of prayer, fasting, almsgiving is touching your life, is it focusing you on being ready for the day of resurrection? Please remember, you are not allowed to sing, but please, if you wish, take up a penitential posture. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. with you, and with your descendants after you, 
also with every living creature to be found with you, birds, cattle, and every wild beast with you. Everything that came out of the ark, everything that lives on the earth. I establish my covenant with you. No thing of flesh shall be swept away again by the waters of the flood. There shall be no flood to destroy the earth again. God said, Here is the sign of the covenant I made between myself and you and every living creature with you for all generations. I set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I gather the clouds over the earth, and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant between myself and you and every living creature of every kind. And so the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all things of the flesh. The Word of the Lord.
Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness and he remained there for 40 days and was tempted by Satan. He was with the wild beasts and the angels looked after him. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. The Gospel of the Lord.
In so many ways, we have been led to recognize in you, as the Catechism reminds us, that in his Eucharistic presence, he remains mysteriously in our midst as the one who loved us and gave himself for us. It is Jesus himself who awaits us in the sacraments of his love. I hope we will continue to make generous efforts in 2021 to keep church doors open wherever this is possible and ensuring we give of our best in everything connected with the Mass and the adoration of the Blessed Sacrament at the heart of every one of our communities. If Eucharistic love pervades our parishes, then we can be sure nothing will be lacking in our sense of mission. At the start of my letter, I said we, were, we are setting out to rebuild on the foundation of the Eucharist. St. John Paul II put this simply when he said, the Eucharist builds the church. He recalled the teaching of the Second Vatican Council, which declared, as often as the sacrifice of the cross is celebrated on the altar, the work of redemption is carried out. And at the same time, the unity of the faithful who form one body in Christ, is expressed and brought about. May this be so for us in 2021, as we gather in ever-growing numbers to fulfil Christ's command, do this in memory of me. May St. Joseph, to whom we have entrusted this year of recovery, pray for us and accompany us as we grow in Eucharistic love. Mark, Bishop of Shrewsbury. So appropriate to recognise and thank the stewards without whom it would not be possible for us to have our churches open as everything has to be cleansed in between all celebrations to make sure we are all kept safe. So our thanks and our prayers to them. Let us stand. this time of fulfilment, for the kingdom of God is at hand, if we are to repent and believe in the gospel, then we need to bring to Jesus our prayers for the needs of the world. At the church, in these days of Lent, we may embrace the time of renewal for every believer in our parish community. For our nations, that we may find ways to share our abundance with those in town who hunger and the millions across the world who lack the basic necessities of life. For all who are experiencing temptation, that they may have the strength to recognize evil in all its forms and to resist it. We pray for all gathered in this holy place that the prayer, almsgiving and fasting we offer this Lent may draw us closer to God and to one another. For our beloved dead, that they may be brought into the light and joy of God's presence with all their sins forgiven. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And in silence we offer our personal prayers to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, pray for and we've had to add more names to those that we are praying for. Many of you will recognize the first lot one with great fondness. So please, we lift up these sisters and brothers to the healing Lord. Father Brendan Hoven, Deacon Philip White, Hassan, Pat, Lillian Brocklesby, Julius and Nancy, 
Edmund, Eileen Rushton, Helen Schofield. Anne Farrell, Mark Wilson, Sean, Greg Colquitt, Tony, Lillian Redican, Jissy, Paul Waller, John Kelly, Patricia Baker. For all the sick of the parish, for those especially struggling with COVID, those and apparently a significant number of our parishioners in Warrington Hospital. Lord, hear us. Gracious God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you have taught us that we do not live by bread alone, but by your powerful word. At the beginning of this holy season of Lent, help us to ponder our ways and walk in your truth through Christ our Lord. Now one young lady is going to start paying very special attention so she can learn the prayers of Mass and the special actions that the priest has to make and sometimes the people as well. So we need to have big eyes on the altar table and what I do in the name of Jesus. Because it's not about Father Peter, it's about Jesus. Okay? So big eyes. And listen to this beautiful song. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Oh, you didn't know that prayer. You need to learn that one, don't you? Listen to Daddy and your brother. Give us the right dispositions, O oh Lord, we pray to make these earthly offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Some prayers now which are very, very important, and a special prayer at the end, which normally we'd sing, but we can't now. So make sure you know the words, or you learn them from Dad and George. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining forty long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast 
the pattern of our Lent of observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that, celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so, with, com with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world. For I am the resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. I'm pretty sure you know this prayer. Show me how you have your hands. Okay. Now say the words, for we need your heart to be speaking. Okay? So encourage to deepen our prayer life during Lent. We pray
pray the perfect prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. blood of Christ. Amen. Please do remember to sanitize your hands before you come forward for Holy Communion.
right. Renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I think I nearly got a very inappropriate hug when I took all the gifts from the parish down to the food bank because he went, oh, long life milk, steam puddings, that's what we need. I'm like, okay, okay. So your, your care, your response, your almsgiving is amazing. Please do continue with bearing in mind those who hunger. As I came back from Mass of the Holy Spirit, I didn't notice on my, notice on my way out. I've got about four daffodils now in flower. It's probably going to be a while before we see a rainbow to remind us of the covenant. But all these spring flowers keep on saying to us, look, this is a reflection of the beauty of the Creator. And we lift up our hearts and we journey to Easter Sunday the day. So please, really be aware of all this around us. And I neglected to put onto the mass sheet that there will be Stations of the Cross here on Monday evening at 6pm, but also it will be live streamed. And then on Wednesday, we will have Apple Formation via Zoom and also live streamed. If you want to be on the Zoom, you have to send me your email and I'll send you the link. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. The song we're about to listen to was written for this time of the difficulty of the pandemic, pandemic and it encourages our faith. Morning by morning, great is your faithfulness.
Einer 